Hi, my name is Danny, and welcome to Esoteric Moment. Today I am filming from Brittingham Community Garden, which is one of the community gardens that I'm a member of. And I wanted to film from here so that we could talk about connecting to plants and learning how to really establish a relationship with those plants. Many times people join a community garden and feel overwhelmed by the amount of choices they have and options and they're excited about everything, but are worried about messing up which one is a little silly because gardening is very flexible and it's, it's really hard to completely mess up. You just replant, you just try again, do a different type of vegetable or fruit. Um, it's very forgiving. In order to help people feel less anxious about gardening, I often recommend that they start with one or two plants that they know they love and they'll eat as much as they can possibly produce and focus on learning how to work with that one plant. So if you really love carrots or you really love tomatoes, focusing in on those. So when you have questions, it's easy to research. When you're figuring out what to add to your soil or to be careful of weeding around, you are just worried about identifying one or two plants. From a spiritual perspective, this has an equal importance. We often talk about connecting to nature as this important thing and it's big and all-encompassing and it can be but it can also be very powerful to focus in on a specific place in nature or to focus in on a specific plant when you get to know the attributes of one plant and the lessons of that species in an ecosystem you have a greater ability to see the whole picture you can see that carrots play a really important role in loosening up the soil in a garden and you can see what happens when you rotate those carrots throughout the year. This is a lesson you might not learn if you are focused only on the big picture and don't establish a close relationship with that vegetable or plant. I think community gardens are a great place to learn how to connect to plants and learn how to steward a specific piece of land and property because it's smaller and you have this incredible human community around you supporting you by answering questions participating in activities and work days together. It's a really important part of learning how to connect to nature in an urban environment or even in a rural environment. That community can assist you and prop you up when you have questions. In the comments below, I'd love to hear if you have any questions about getting started in a community garden or if you've established a relationship with one or two plants that's really deep and has taught you a lot. As always, Thanks for watching and may you find peace in the sacred grove. Today I have another book review for you and that is The Earth Path by Starhawk. Bias alert, I love Starhawk. She is one of my favorite authors. Her activism and connection to divine feminine just really rocks and fits well into my spiritual practice. There are some things that not so much, but generally I really, really appreciate her writing.